Hello there, my friends, and welcome back to my Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge, a Pokemon Leaf Green version. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we made our way through Mount Moon, and we arrived here in Cerulean City. Now, as you guys know, I ran past the route that we can catch another Pokemon at, so I'm gonna go back to it. This is Route 4. I have 10 Pokeballs ready to go, so let's run around and see what that Pokemon is going to be. Hey! I like it a lot! That is a Larvitar level 8! That will be a great addition to our team. Now, I do have Sega up in front, so let's go for the quick attack and see what we can do. I also want to give you guys a big thank you for all the support you guys have shown me. Hope you're having a great Monday and that you enjoyed the first five parts of this randomizer nuzlocke. Today, we are ready to continue on with our adventure. We're going to add some new Pokemon, and we are going to be taking on our second gym. So let's go for another quick attack here. And the Larvitar is looking like it is almost down. Now, the Sandstorm has come out. I'm feeling pretty good with this, though. I'm going to go for one more quick attack, and then we'll start chucking those Pokeballs out. Like you guys know we like to do. All right, one more quick attack. We got it down in the yellow. It's looking good. We should be able to add this Larvitar to our team today. We've been adding some really great Pokemon to our team as well. If you guys remember, we added Thorn the Trico to our team. Now, I haven't trained us up because I wanted it to be able to come back to this route and catch another Pokemon. So once we catch this Pokemon, then I'll be able to actually train up our Pokemon. So I have 11 Pokeballs. Let's start chucking them and let's see if this Larvitar is going to join our team. It is level 8. It's a strong Pokemon. Ooh, it almost got caught. Here comes the bite and another... Sandstorm is gonna hit us. We're okay, guys. We gotta hang in here. Adding a pseudo legendary Pokemon to our team would be huge. We've already been finding some really great Pokemon. And as I told you guys, I'll be updating our roster as we go. So if we ever find a Pokemon that I know is gonna be a better addition to our team than some of the Pokemon we already have on there, I'll make sure to catch it and then we'll bump it up into our roster. I cannot believe we can't catch this Pokemon yet. Let's keep on going with the Pokeballs. We've already caught a Mewtwo, so how hard is it going to be for us to catch a Larvitar here? I keep thinking back on that Mewtwo, and I'm telling you guys, I don't know what the catch rate was, but I believe we got really, really lucky because now you're seeing how much harder it is to actually catch some of these Pokemon. And there we go. Gotcha. Larvitar was caught. That is a great addition to our team. I'm digging it. We are going to give a nickname to the Larvitar. We are going to nickname our Larvitar Hulk. So I'd like you to welcome Hulk the Larvitar to our team. I thought that was a pretty good nickname as we already do have Thanos the Nidorino, which is a big purple Pokemon. Now we're going to have a big green Pokemon. So adding Hulk is going to be really, really good. I'm going to go ahead and get us ready for the gym. As you guys can see, I've gone ahead and switched up our team. So I put Q back in the PC and I've gone ahead and brought out Hulk. So I'd like you to officially welcome Hulk the Larvitar to our team. I've also done some training now that we finally caught the Pokemon on Route 4. So we have Seiya at level 16, we have Herc at 15, Thanos is at 17, and Frieza is at 16. Our younglings are still at level 7 and level 8. So Thorn and Hulk could use some training, which I will get to. Now we're ready to make our way inside of Cerulean City's Pokemon Gym and take on the gym leader, Misty, the tomboyish mermaid. Hope you guys are ready for our second gym challenge here in this randomizer Nuzlocke. Yo, champ in the making. Let me give you some advice. The leader, Misty, is a pro who uses water-type Pokemon. You can drain all the water with grass-type Pokemon, or you might use electric-type Pokemon and zap them. Thanks for the tip, my man. Let's go ahead and jump into our first battle here. I'm first up. Let's do it. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Rodri versus Cerulean City's trainers. This is going to be Swimmer Luis. And Luis is going to open up with a Doe Duo, which is great because I have Seiya up in front. So it looks like we're going to have a type advantage here. Now, as you guys can see, Seiya is only level 16. So we will still be outleveled by some of the Pokemon here in this gym. So we got to do the best that we can to change it up, to bring in who we need to. That's a not to. Well, it looks like I chose the right Pokemon to have up in front. Let's go for the Thunder Punch. I'm telling you guys, I feel like I've been having a little bit of future sight lately. Going through these gyms, like, I've just been a little psychic. Something's going on here with this adventure, and I'm predicting it quite well. We defeated Swimmer Luis. He said, that can't be. You better go back in that pool, dude, because we just whooped you up. Hey, how's it going, Misty? It's been a while. It's been a while. But before we get to Misty, here we go. We're going to have one more battle. 
So let's go ahead and jump right in. This is going to be Pick Nicker Diana. She's going to send out a Grimer. And I'm feeling pretty good right now because we do have a type advantage, as you guys know. I'm going to go ahead and send out Frieza. And let's see what Frieza can do here for us in this adventure. The Grimer is level 19, and it went for the Disable. Well, I'm going for the Confusion. So let's hit some of that super effectiveness. Frieza? Ooh, it's almost down. It's almost down. A Minimize is going to come out. That is not going to change things a whole lot here. So let's wrap it up, Frieza. We are going to go for the Confusion, and that is going to be it for the Grimer. We've been doing really, really good in this gym so far. I'm digging it. We defeated Picknicker Diana, and that is it. We got 380 for winning. It is time for us to take on the second gym leader of the Kanto region. Hi, you're a new face. Only those trainers who have a policy about Pokemon can turn pro. What is your approach when you catch and train Pokemon? My policy is an all-out offensive with water-type Pokemon. Here we go, guys. Rodri versus Cerulean City's gym leader. It's time for us to take on Leader Misty. And Misty's going to open things up with a Loudred level 18. Now, I do have Seiya up in front. So let's go for the Thunder Punch. You guys know that I am an offensive-type user. So I'm going to get on the offensive right now. It looks like the Howl's going to be coming out. Ooh, it looks like the Loudred's going to be powering up a little bit. But nonetheless, I'm going to keep going for the Thunder Punch. And here comes the Uproar. Oh, wow. Okay, 7 HP. I'm going for the Thunder Punch regardless, as that is going to finish off the Loudred. But we came really close to getting KO'd there. Say I grew to level 17. And we're doing quite well. We got to hang in here, guys. Say I learned Light Screen. That's really, really good for us. Next up is going to be a Cacturn. Let's go ahead and send out Thanos against the Cacturn. Let's see what we can do here, ladies and gents. Cacturn is going to be level 21. So we are at a bit of a disadvantage here. Let's hope Thanos can do it. I'm going for the Peck, which is going to be super effective. And the Cacturn is going to be going for the Growth, which could make this a tough battle. We just got to try to put out as much damage as possible as fast as we can. Cacturn is going to still keep going for the growth. Let's keep going for the peck, Thanos. Good work so far for my man Thanos. The Mad Titan is stepping up for us. I'm telling you guys. Now we have Thanos the Mad Titan and Hulk the Avenger on our team. We are making quite the roster here. We avoided the attack. Let's go for one more peck. Ah, here comes the Super Potion from Misty. But I'd have to say that our Thanos... Is doing a fantastic job right now. We hit a crit on that Cacturn. Let's go. We missed. And here comes the Pin Missile. Hang in there, Thanos. Okay. That is not doing that much to us. We're good. We're good. Yeah. It hit three times. But we are rocking. Let's go for another peck then, Thanos. And the Cacturn is in the red. It's going to be about one more peck here to wrap up this battle in the second gym in the Kanto region. Let's focus up, Map Titan. This one is on you. We're going for the peck we missed. Oh, no. Here comes the pin missile. Hang in there, my dude. Thanos, you got to tank it out. It's like we're going up against Wanda right now in Endgame. If you guys have seen it, where she's about to throw down the missiles. She's about to crush Thanos. You know, and Thanos is like, yo, launch everything we got. you guys got. Throw the missiles out here. Save my life. That's how it's feeling. But lucky for us. We did it. We gained a bunch of XP. And my man Thanos came through for us. Heck yeah. Thanos grew to level 18 and is trying to learn Poison Sting. So we will definitely learn that. I'm going to get rid of Leer. We got ourselves a new move. We grew to level 18. And wow, what a performance here from Thanos. Let's go. We defeated Gym Leader Misty. Wow, you're too much. All right. You can have the Cascade Badge to show you beat me. We got 2100 for winning. Cascade Badge makes all Pokemon up to level 30 obey. Includes even outsiders who've gotten trades. There's more. You can now use Cut any time even out of battle. Well, thank you so much, Misty. She's also giving us a TM, and that is TM03 Water Pulse. You guys know that is going to be really, really good. We get a Water Type, combine that with the Water Pulse. We are going to be rolling. So with that, guys, Misty is done. We've officially obtained the Cascade Badge. That is our second out of eight badges here in the Kanto region. We got six more to go, and we are flying out of here. So that was a pretty quick gym. 
We flew through that, honestly, a lot faster than I expected. I'm gonna heal up. Now that we're all healed up and ready, and we've obtained the Cascade Badge, so our second badge here in the Kanto region, we're gonna take a look around this place. We're gonna run around Cerulean City. We're gonna explore it, you know? That's what you gotta do. You gotta go talk to some of the people in the town. When you're here in the town, you gotta go say what's up, you know, go say hello to some of these people. I got a powder jar. Yeah, thank you so much, dude. We'll take what we can. He's just out here giving us tips, telling us about the berry powders. You guys know how it is. But we're also gonna be able to make our way across another area. So up we go to Nugget Bridge. It's Brian. Yo, Rodri, you still struggling along back here? I'm doing great. I got a bunch of strong, smart Pokemon. Here, let me see what you got, Rodri. Here we go, guys. Rodri versus our rival, Brian. It is showtime. Let's see what Brian's got. He's got four Pokemon ready to go, and he has a Natu. What is up with everybody having a Natu right now? I'm just going to drop the Thunder Punch, and now we are flying. Natu is level 17, so it looks like Brian's Pokemon are going to be around our level. So, we're doing quite good. Next is going to be a Cubone coming out. Yeah, we're going to switch it up. Let's go ahead and send out the Mad Titan. And let's see what the Mad Titan can do here against a Cubone. Level 16. Okay. I'm going for the double kick then, ladies and gents. That is uh, not doing a whole lot here, if y'all know what I mean. Here comes the Bone Club. Ooh, that did a lot more damage than I wanted. So we're going to take our sweet time here. You know what I'm talking about, guys? We only have four Pokemon right now, which we can use that are caught up in levels. So I still have to be careful here and focus up because we still have to train up Thorn and Hulk which I'll be making sure to do off screen. And that is a crit. Cubone is down. Yeah. Good work there, Frieza. Let's see what Brian's gonna send out. That is a Wishmer. So I will just keep Frieza out right now. Here in the Kanto region, going through this, it's gonna be really, really beneficial to keep our Mewtwo strong because when we don't have the type advantage, that's when situations can get a little bit sticky. So it's gonna be a new Mel. Good. So far, the confusion is going to do wonders to all these Pokemon. So let's go for that one more time. And that is it. The new Mel's out of here, and that's a crit. Uh, too many crits there, if you ask me. Too, too many crits. If later in the adventure you guys see one of my Pokemon get critted out, you know why. Hey, take it easy. You won already. We got 288 for winning. I know. We just really got to rub it in. Hey, guess what? I went to Bills and got him to show me his rare Pokemon that added a lot of pages to my Pokedex. After all, Bills world famous as a Pokemaniac. He invented the Pokemon story system on PC too. Since you're using a system, you should go thank him. Well, I better get rolling. Smell you later. Smell you later too, my friend. As you guys, oh, whoa, well, oh, he's coming back. Oh yeah, right, feel sorry for you. No, really, you're always plotting behind me. So here, I'll give you a little present as a favor. We obtained the fame checker. Well, thanks so much, dude, but we are not in it for the fame. We're in it for the friends, you know, for the journey. We are now ready to make our way through Route 24 Nugget Bridge. So we are gonna have some tough battles coming up. So let's speed them up. We defeated the first trainer. The Pokemon are level 10, so it's not too bad. Let's jump into our second battle. Good XP so far. Those Pokemon were level 12, but what's great right now is Seiya seems to have a really good type advantage on some of these Pokemon. So let's keep on going. Seiya grew to level 19. We are moving on through. I'm gonna go ahead and switch it up though. We will put Frieza up in front from this battle. Let's go ahead and jump in. Last but not least, we move on to the fifth trainer. The fifth one bites the dust. We made it through. Congratulations, you beat our five contest trainers. You just earned a fabulous prize. Hey, we received the nugget. Heck yeah, I could use that money. By the way, how'd you like to join Team Rocket? We're a group of professional criminals specializing in Pokemon. Want to join? I really, really don't. Are you sure? Come on, join us. I'm telling you to join. Okay, you need convincing. I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. Here we go. Rodri versus... Ooh, Team Rocket. And that is going to be the sixth trainer here on Nugget Bridge. 
He's going to open up with a Surskit level 15. And we are on our way. The Surskit is going to go for the quick attack. And I am going for the confusion with our Mewtwo. So let's go. One more confusion should just about do it. The Surskit is going for the quick attack. And it looks like our Mewtwo is going to wrap this battle up very quickly. The Surskit is down. Frieza has grown to level 18. We are doing a great job today. We're gaining some good levels. Team's looking good. Next is going to be a Skitty. Oh, a Skitty? That's so cute. Well, regardless, cuteness doesn't help in battles. So we're going to go for the confusion. And that is a crit again. Oh, no. Way too many crits. We defeated Team Rocket Grunt. Ah, you are good. We got 480 for winning. We are Billy. You become a top leader in Team Rocket. Come on, think of the opportunity. Don't let this chance go to waste. Well, you know, we are going to let that chance go to waste. But thank you so much. And we also got TM47 Steel Wing. Heck yeah. Now, there are going to be a lot of battles coming up here on Route 25 as we make our way over to Bill. So next time, ladies and gentlemen, we will be continuing from here. And you guys can see that we are also going to be able to catch a couple Pokemon in this place. So make sure you stay tuned. I'm going to train up our Pokemon a bit to try to catch up our little guys in levels. You know, Hulk and Thorn really got to catch up. So next time, we'll be continuing from here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button and join the Purple Banditos today. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Pokemon Leaf Green, Randomizer Nuzlocke. Goodbye!